Ah, we'll park here. No stopping again. There are so many of these signs. I mean, where do they even make these signs? I bet it's some sort of top secret location hidden in the depths of the city that no one knows. It says no camera or video recording, but they're letting us inside today so I can show you how they make the street signs here at the city of Burnaby. Well, Leanna here is gonna walk us through and explain how this all works. So what we're looking at is all the street signs that you see out on the road while you're driving. They all start with a metal blank in Burnaby. Oh, it is just a blank piece of metal. But Leanna, which sign are we gonna make? These are no stoppings. Okay. The most common sign probably in the city. Great, more no stopping signs. So, the first step in the process is to lay out the reflective backing onto the blank metal signs. Leanna sticks it on by rolling it out smoothly using this cool huge machine thing. In fact, this roller is so big it allows them to make up to 20 signs at a time. Then each sign gets cut out and has the corners cut down to size. Great. And then from there... From there, we move on to the printing. So you're telling me this whole thing is printed without a paper jam or a metal jam? We has... have a flatbed UV pink printer. It cures through lights okay. immediately. So wow. by the time it finishes its print, everything's cured and ready to go back to be over laminated. So no, you don't have to wait, let it dry. You don't have to be blowing on it. No. This is probably the biggest printer I've ever seen, and I'm still a little confused about how it's going to work, but we're about to find out. These knobs turn on the suction. It's like a reverse table hockey surface. This ensures the signs don't move around during printing, so you get straight lines on the sign every time. And once it's all set, the printer uses UV light to print directly onto the signs. It kind of works like your laser printer at home, but on a much larger scale. And it's a lot louder. So while the machine is doing its thing, let's see what else is around the shop. This is the size of your overhead signs on all your major streets there. Oh, they look tiny. Right. Oh, wow. This is so much bigger than I expected. Look how big the stop sign is. But it looks so small from here. But it's pretty big from out here. Look at this. All right, the printing is done. Now, the signs are completely dry, yeah. but the UV ink is brittle. So that's also why we over laminate it, because I could actually chip this away with my finger right now. Street signs are provincially legislated to be reflective. And so the parking signs don't have to be as reflective as the high speed signs, kind of speed limit signs. And that's what you're seeing. This is kind of the speed limit, reflectivity, the parking signs, and then this is the least reflective, but it is still reflective material. The final stage is to laminate the sign to protect the acrylic paint from chipping off and fading in the sun. Yeah. There is a new no stopping sign. The laminate works. And so you might think that's the end of it, but it's not because it doesn't have any arrows. Which, in which direction can I not stop? So the city workers will have just a bunch of these in their truck and whenever they need to put one up, they can. And on it, they'll add a set of vinyl arrows so you know where you can. And that completes your sign. Ah, huh, makes sense. But what if you have a special event, you need more details on the sign? This is the room where we have our vinyl printer and cutter, and we also do like special events. They can design anything on the computer, and in this case, special event notices. And it gets printed by, <clears throat> well, obviously a printer. And then has this laser cutter cut out the vinyl text so they can stick it onto the sign. Wow, so it doesn't even cut all the way through. That's amazing. And then you just place it on. Wow. The, I, something as simple as printing a sign, a vinyl sign, I was like, oh, yeah, let's go see the room shirt. Uh, uh, this is the part that's blowing me the, away the most. This little unsuspecting machine can just cut just the top layer and let. That's so cool. And that is the start of a no stopping signs long life. Thanks, Leanna. I've always wondered, and now we know. Thanks for watching Downey Live. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me.